Hello and welcome back to another video. Now this one is going to be a lot different compared to most of my motorbike, my gym workouts, my other daft videos. This is more of a, a helpful video about a, a life experience that um, I went through a few years ago and whether I would do it again, the pros and cons. As the title says, I had a hair transplant about seven or eight years ago. Um, I will post a few pictures throughout this this little chat um, of my when I was younger when my hair started going after I had a, after I had the hair transplant and as you can see now um, I started um, got it started to thin out when I was about 16 to 20 years old probably because of what I used to wear a, a beanie hat or a cap a lot um, I just I don't know why it's just the way it was I probably didn't help didn't help with that fact then um, it was about when I was about 20 25 something like that I kept thinking to myself it's going less and less and less and I shaved my head in the winter which is the most stupid time to shave your head um, and I wore, I had to wear a, a, a beanie hat as well because it was so cold in my head after doing it and I realised my head is a kind of like shape, it's kind of like um, another alien out of um, American Dad I don't know what he's called but the alien out of American Dad I thought my head, my head shape was like that like kind of goes up and then back down it's just like yeah so I thought, you know, I, I need to grow it back. Obviously, what well, I could grow back because I couldn't grow it all back, being the fact that I was, I was balding. So then I looked into various ways of growing my hair back. I did, looked at that Alpin caffeine shampoo. It smells of coffee, but it does not work. All the people who say it works, even for the women, it does not work. It, it's a lot of rubbish. And it, like, I got that because I didn't want to spend hundreds of pounds on that foam stuff that you used to put in, I can't remember what it's called, it's like a foam you used to put in and rub it in because they, they never work and then I looked, thought you know what let's look into hair transplants because a few footballers like Wayne Mooney and people like that they had it obviously they spent 40 odd grand and they did it properly away um, I didn't have that kind of money so I looked at different ways to do it and I found out that um, for what I need it would just cost just over four grand. I just had, what is the front doing there? Just a little bit, because I had a bit of a quiff anyway, so I wanted to fill it out so I could basically comb it over and make, my, make my, the front of my face look better and more full of hair. So I went to a place called Zaving Medical. It was a consultation in Manchester and then I went to somewhere in Birmingham to have it done by um, a surgeon. They didn't put me to sleep. They um, they basically numbed my um, my head at the back because I had a piece of um, skin about so long and about so thick um, taken from the back of my head, and then they sewed the rest up. The, um, the scar you get it's obviously been eight years, so the scar is not quite as bad as it was. I was awake for had to be awake. It was eight hour procedure. I had to be awake for the whole lot. I felt a bit nauseous when they were first when they were take, cutting when they were cutting the um, the strip out of my head. At first, so they put some fan on me to kind of cool me down because I felt dead nauseous and warm to cool me down. I had, I had um, a TV in front of me, films. Um, I couldn't move for five hours. I wasn't allowed to move. I had to sat, sit there like that while the. Um, the surgeon comes in, takes it off, then he has his nurse and the four nurses who pick all the follicles out and arrange them by one, two, three, four, five, etc. threads out of each follicle. And then he comes down, numbs the top of your head or wherever you have it put in, puts numbs your head and starts putting putting hole pricks in like so then so then the nurses can come along and start putting in the follicles. And, and um it, it was it's quite hard to stay to stay like that. 35 hours without being a bit ir irritable but it, I did it um, I had someone to drive me home 
which was very helpful because I was knackered. I had to get there for like seven in the morning and I came out at like five, four or five um, p.m. and then she drove me home, which I'm very grateful for because um, I was knackered. I could not have driven home. I would have had to get a, a, uh, a hotel probably and drive back the following day. But I did it all in one day. Um, and after a while, they told you how to do it all. It looked great. Loads of, you could see the redness where they put the, um, the follicles in. And then the, um, after a while, then you told you can't wash your hair for like a week. And then, um, about, and then after that, you have to mix a cup or a jug of um, shampoo and hot water and mix it up and then pour it over it because it, because you can't do that and take all the follicles out so I had to pour it over for another two weeks or something like that I had to go to work with and wear a hat even though like a because I worked in a restaurant so I had to go wear like a, a chef's hat because I had blood around the top so it, to stop it from because I was in front of customers and after a while then what they said to me uh, the hair will fall out that we put back in but don't worry, it's the follicles, it's the hairs that are there, they'll fall out when, once, it's, um, once it's healed and then they'll regrow. I thought, okay, so if they fell out, then they started regrowing and my hair seemed a lot fuller. I was very, very happy with that. I had a new confidence to me. And then uh, about three years later, obviously I met my girlfriend and I was quite happy because I thought, oh, nice one. Um, this procedure's worked, I feel more confident, I've finally got myself a lovely lady, a lovely partner. And over time, about now it's been about eight years and it's thinned out quite a bit. Um, and now it's summer coming up to. I decided I'll shave my, my head because the shops are closed because we're in um, isolation because of this coronavirus. So I thought I'll shave my head, well I'll shave it, I'll trim it back, I'll get a girlfriend to do it. And now it looks like that. It's the, the line there is where they did it, where they put it on, because then all the, then I can comb it over. I will grow it back in the winter because it is bloody freezing your head in the winter. But in general, in the summer from now on, I might just take the hair off in the summer and then grow it back in the winter. Bit of a change, spice things up a little bit. Um, like I said, the pros are you feel more confident. It is. It wasn't the FUE, the four I think it's called, um, thirty odd grand that they, did, that they used to. Because the, the one I did, where they took the strip out the, out of the back of the head, is a, is an inexpensive one. Even though yes, it's four four odd grand. The more expensive one that is the, there's a machine where they basically this needle comes in, grabs something from the back of your head, and puts it in your head. So the machine just does this like this. I personally, would I do it again? I don't think I would have it done again because for a bit grand for that, it doesn't last forever. It may last forever in other people, but for me, it doesn't last forever. Apparently it doesn't look any different, the girlfriend says, but I think it has lost some. It is more of um, thinning more. And we'll see what happens once my hair grows back. Once once the world's the lot this lockdown's ended, I'll see if it does go back thicker. If it does, I'll do a, another video to show that it's come back and it's more fuller. Uh, would I have it done again? No. Do I regret having it done? No, nope, I don't regret having it done. Um, what did I get out of it? I got a lovely partner. I got this conversation is but it may come back who knows it may come back fuller because I've just got to take it right down to the end um, tell me what you think in the comments below what you think if I have a look decent now or you think I should grow it, grow it back again if you look at my past videos then you'll see my hair was fuller I got more hair before I took it all off the only good thing is is that the other thing is is that when when you have this quiff this um, follicles and transplant the hair is longer, you outside, the wind comes along and you, 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 you comb it over and it looks nice. The wind comes along and poof, it basically goes from there to there, it just looks like shit. So the only way you can keep it steady is by putting some, some strong hold um, 
hairspray or gel in it, and even that doesn't do it always. I don't regret having it done. Um, I'm happy with what what I did. Would I have it done again? No. As I said, let me know in the comments what you think. If you've had it done, if you think about having it done. Um, and also, thanks again for watching. Thanks again for subscribing. If you haven't, please do subscribe. Click the notification bell. Click that like button. Like. And um, yeah, I'll see you all very, very soon. For plenty more exercise videos, bike videos, amazing videos. Let's grow this channel. Thank you and goodbye.